that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Was grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears relieved. How precious did that grace appear the hour I first. and snares I have already come. Tis grace hath brought me safe thus far, and grace will lead me home. Bright shining as the sun, we've no less days to sing God's praise than when we first begun. Then we first begun. Amazing Grace was written more than 243 years ago by a man named John Newton. You may know his story. He was enslaved and treated very cruelly. And then in a kind of a diabolical rags to riches move, he became a slave trader himself. During a life-threatening crisis, he said yes to Jesus with his life. And then he discovered soon after that once we do that, once we say yes to Jesus with our lives, once we give Jesus that big yes, we need to start saying yes to Jesus in all kinds of smaller ways for the rest of our lives because Jesus keeps pointing out new ways for us to say no to self, no to this, no to that, and yes to Jesus. And so John Newton realized, well, I can't be a slave trader anymore because that's not consistent with the way of Christ. And so he stopped. He wrote the words to Amazing Grace. This song reminds me of the Gospel of John, chapter 1, verse 16, talking about Jesus. It says, from the overflow of Christ's fullness, we've received grace upon grace. Grace heaped upon grace. One helping after another. 
We're making a transition from 2022 into 2023. I'm not real big on being year to year, you know, New Year's resolutions, etc. I'm day by day, really moment by moment. However, I can't think of a much better way to move from 2022 into 2023 than by claiming verse 3 of Amazing Grace. Through many dangers, toils, and snares, we have already come in 2022. God's grace has brought us safe thus far, and grace will lead us home, but grace will also lead us into 2023. How come? Because from Christ's fullness, we've received grace upon grace upon grace 